You are going to get so many negative comments from that. (laughs) Hello, I'm Lawrence. I'm Tara. And we're on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond. And one of those memos pertains to both food and national holidays. And coming up this week is... Thanksgiving! Yes, a uh, holiday, of course, that is uh, unique, more or less, to the United States and Canada, although we do have the Harvest Festival in England, which, of course, is no way near as widely celebrated as Thanksgiving. And so we today are continuing a series in which I, a British person, try some of the American Thanksgiving food. Yes, uh, so in our last episode of this series, we did green bean casserole and oyster dressing and uh, of course your standard clover leaf dinner roll. But today is my favorite stuff. Oh yeah, what is it? This is the sweet sides or maybe you could think of it as the uh, desserts as well of the Thanksgiving dinner. Um, and so I have a uh, little taster plates for each of us. So we have, this is pie. This is pie. I have a little piece of turkey here, and I'll tell you about that in a second. And then, of course, we have cranberry sauce or gel. Mmm, looking at those pies, I mean, obviously two slices of the same pie, but I'm happy to eat double. So these are not the same pie. One of them is sweet potato pie, and one of them is pumpkin pie. Um, So what are we going to start out with today? Well, again, since the turkey is the main meal, and you're supposed to eat the cranberry sauce with the turkey, I think we should start with the cranberry sauce. So why don't you try it on its own first, and then give your verdict. So this sauce looks congealed. Is that normal? Yes, it's gel. It's gel. So it's almost like you guys call it jelly, we call it jello. But what it is, is it's cranberries that's been put through a strainer and then sauced up essentially. It looks like, and it's gonna fall, it looks like it's been in a can. Is that true? Yes. This this is canned cranberry. It is. Nothing that we're eating here today I made myself, but I have made some of these things and so you're just gonna have to watch my videos to find out what and how. What? Sorry, I was just paying attention to the canned cranberry. Canberry, I suppose. Canned cranberry, though, is delightful. Is it? It is. I mean, again, like, think of it as jello. I'm very skeptical. I mean, look at that. It just, I don't know, it just seems a bit weird. But does you it, ate jello as a kid. Does it have a metallic taste? No. I suppose there's only one way to find out. Go ahead. I don't. I'll try it. I mean, I, we probably have this in the UK, but I never really grew up with cranberry sauce. It was just, it was not part of our staple, I don't think. Or at least if it was, my mum had it all to herself. Well, certainly canned cranberry is a newer thing in terms of canning. I'll do it then. All right, I'll just close my eyes and count to ten, as Dusty Springfield once said. Hmm. Oh, it's good, that. So how is it with the turkey? Because as I stated before, you should have tried the cranberry sauce on its own first. Oh no, shows how much (laughs) I listen. Again, I was too busy paying attention to the fact that it was canned cranberry. So I'll do it on its own now, and we'll see how that goes. Hmm. That's a bit weird. <laughs> it is lovely with the turkey, though. It is. It's better with... It, it complements the turkey, and vice versa, I think. they get on well at school if they were humans. And that's the idea, is that, you know, you've got cranberry, which is really sweet and tart, and then you've got the turkey, which... In this case, actually, this is that smoked turkey that was sent to us by accident when I was waiting for a real turkey to cook for you all. And this turkey actually has a lot of flavor, but usually turkeys themselves, when you cook them, aren't the most flavorful things, so the cranberry is what mm, gives it that flavor. It does. I would give this, you know, uh, in the Great British Bake Off, Paul Hollywood gives the Hollywood handshake. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go that far, (laughs) but I would give it maybe three and a half out of five, which for my taste buds is very generous. I really like it. I could eat the canned stuff on its own. And in fact, I've been known to do that a lot. It's not bad. It's not bad. I just feel like it's going to leave me with like rotting teeth. We'll eat it with your turkey and then that won't be an issue. Okay. Um, now on to the next one. So we have the next two things here, which are pies. And now Lawrence, I think what we're going to do with you is we're just going to have you try them and then you can decide which one is your favorite without knowing which is which. That is not fair, and you know it. You bent the rules just to make me look like an idiot on camera, and I just realized I don't need you for that. Fine, I am as brave as the next man, and there is no other man, so I'm on my own on this one. But, they're, I mean, they're just pies. I think I can do it. I think I'm good enough to go. So. Oh, no, no, no. What? You need this. What is it? This is whipped cream. Not whipped cream. Oh, yeah. No. 
You can't have a sweet potato pie or a pumpkin pie without some kind of a topping. And usually it's whipped cream. Sometimes you might do like marshmallows or another kind of accompaniment, but whipped cream is the standard. So I'm gonna have to like blot a little bit of this on each of them first so that you can get a nice bite of uh, whipped cream with your pies. You know my feelings on whipped cream, wife. Why don't you tell everyone? I don't like whipped cream. I had an experience when I was 19 in a field in Grimsby. I'll leave it at that. So, shall I try this? Yes, go for it. Which one is it? Again, you have to decide which you like first. That's unbelievable. Do you know what? Okay, I cannot tell you which one this is, I have to say. I don't know if it's the sweet potato or the pumpkin pie, but I will tell you, I can taste cinnamon in that and it's very, very heavy. Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's the way that these things go. But that's, that, that's the other thing about most American desserts. You will find a strong hint of cinnamon in them and I'm not a big fan of cinnamon, which is why I like pecan pie because I don't usually get that hint of cinnamon, even though it may contain it. It's not as strong as in these cinnamon colored Pies. I'm not sure that they have cinnamon, usually a pecan pie um, or pecan. I don't know. How do I say it? I don't know how I say it. Nevertheless, I don't know that there's any cinnamon in a pecan pie. Usually, I guess you probably could include it. It wouldn't hurt anything, but yeah, it's, that's not the strong components. I will say that it was at least somewhat edible. Uh, there was no need for the whipped cream, if I'm honest. But um, I'd give this, I think, maybe a, maybe a two and a half out of five. That's 50%. Um, okay, so take a bite of the next one now. Oh, this one? Yes. It's pointing at me. It's shaped like an arrow. So I think that tells me that I have to do it. Okay, we have it in my hand. And we're going to do... I don't know which one's which. I still didn't get any flavor out of that last one that wasn't cinnamon. So it tastes the same. You are going to get so many negative comments from that. <laughs> It tastes the same. So many. You're going to get so much hate. <laughs> it tastes the same. I'm getting nothing different from... All I'm getting is pie crust and cinnamon. Why don't you try them without the whipped cream? Okay, okay. That Maybe that's it. Because maybe, just maybe, it was the whipped cream that was influencing my taste buds, which have held out for this long. We will see. Let's try this one on its own. It might have a little bit of the cranberry sauce on it. Let's do it. Okay, okay. So here we go. Which is... Hmm, here's the difference, and this is key, and this is crucial. It's the texture that's different. The first one is not quite as bulky, all right? So it's very kind of um, soft on the, on, the, on the tongue, but it does taste the same. I, I, I give them both two and a half stars out of five. I feel like a film critic, but for American desserts. Now I feel like I have to taste them because I think he's wrong. Every pumpkin and sweet potato pie I've ever tasted has had at least a slight variation in taste. Go on. Which one was that one? This is the sweet potato pie. Okay. And it's bright. And you're right, like the texture is kind of soft. It's a little gooey. So you're telling me, because I'm looking at the, the color differential, or the shade dif differential on both our plates. You're telling me the first one I had was sweet potato pie. Right. Okay. And that is pumpkin pie. And I know it because it's the, the taste and the aftertaste are slightly different. It's not as bright. It is a little stodgier. The texture is a little bit stodgier as well. The sweet potato pie is always much brighter in terms of the taste. And the pumpkin pie is, well, squash. So it's got that kind of like heavy um, squash feeling, I think, to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think you've been brainwashed? No, not at all. Okay, because I can't... I can absolutely tell the difference between these. And I could if they looked the same as well. There's no difference. I mean, it's like, for me, it's like Pepsi and Cola. She thinks it's weird, Pepsi and Coke. Those are I different. I just can't tell the difference. I think I might have something wrong with my taste buds, actually. He maybe, also thinks- Maybe I'm not the person to be doing this video. He also thinks that whiskeys all taste the same. I am so gonna get killed in the comments. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you doing this now? I realize it's mostly my fault. No, I can tell the difference between uh, a bourbon whiskey and a scotch whiskey. Well, that's good. It's like I can tell the difference between Merlots and, and Pinot Noir, for example. But if you give me four Merlots and tell me to f find the difference between them, I can't usually do it. Well, I think out of all three of the things that I tried today, uh, the cranberry sauce is my favorite. You know, it's it didn't have that hint of cinnamon. It tasted ever so slightly like tin. It three, really didn't. It, mm -hmm. Three and a half stars out of five is not bad. 
bad. I feel like you're a worse critic than I am. I am. I mean, I have to be. I'm I'm my own worst critic if it, if it makes you feel any better, for those of you watching at home. I would eat any of these every day of the year if I could. I, for one, wouldn't, but I suspect, wife, that I might prefer your iterations of these three things. My pumpkin pie has molasses in it, which makes it very different from most pumpkin pies. And in fact, the only place that ever does that traditionally is in New England. So you'll want to find out about that at my channel, which is Old Fashioned AF. You can look up here Ooh. and see it. I am going to make all of these things, so be watching my channel in the next few days and you will see those things coming out. And really, that's about it. Stay tuned until the very end of this video to click on the end slide. That will point you to Tara's most recent video. And be on the lookout this week for more Thanksgiving tasting videos on my part. And as ever, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that my videos don't get lost in the pond. And a big shout out to my patrons without whom none of this would be possible. From the writing to the technical equipment to the pies. We have a lot to thank you for. So thank you. And if you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond, you can do so at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Anyone who does so can get access to my secret live stream and anybody that pledges five dollars or more a month can also get access to my secret podcast. So I suppose somebody's got to eat these pies because I'm not going to do it. Yeah, so. I want to finish my... You know what? We are done here. We're done. Mm-hmm. Bye. Thank you for watching this episode of Lost in the Pond. Don't forget to hit my stupid little face to subscribe and please share this video with the world. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and if you would like to support this channel please do so at patreon.com slash lost in the pond.